In this video, I'll show you how you can update the NA10 when the NA10 is installed using NPM. As you have already seen, I have provided you the detailed tutorial how to install NA10 using NPM. You can see here that right now I'm on the server. IP address is 10.11.12.200. If you see here the version which is available in about NA10, so it's 1.71.3. So this is the version which is available. So I'll be logging in to server using SSH. So I'll do SSH Amjad and 10.11.12.200. Of course, depending upon whether it is on cloud or you have hosted it locally. So it can be your self-hosted. Self-hosted can of course be VPS or it can be on your home lab or at your local computer as well. So I'll access this, enter the password. So I'll just clear the screen. And I'll show you. The service which is running right now, NA10, it is as a service. So I will just show you sudo systemctl status and it will be NA10. So NA10 is running right now. You will see here that service is enabled and it is active. So the first step that we need to do is we need to stop this service. So I will do sudo systemctl stop NA10. Now, of course, NA10 is stopped. When I try to access this, it won't work. So you can see here site is not reachable because the service has stopped. So there are two ways, of course, if you want to update the latest version, so you will do npm update or with the sudo command, of course, sudo npm update dash g and it will be NA10. So it will be updating the latest version of NA10. But if you want to update the latest beta version or the next version, so you can do sudo npm install dash g na10 at next so if you do na10 at next so it will update the or it will install the beta version of it but i won't be going for that i will do sudo npm update and it will be dash g na10 it will take time because it will be downloading the latest version and then it will be updating so we will be just waiting for this process to complete and once it is completely downloaded i'll come back to you So you can see here added 505 packages, removed 71 packages and changed 1132 packages in 10 minutes, depending upon your internet bandwidth, depending upon your server speed and so on. So what we are going to do here now, I will just uh, clear the screen here. And as you see that it will still not work because uh, we have not yet started the service. We stopped the service when we were updating the NA10. So we will be now starting the service. And if you remember, we did sudo system CTL stop NA10. And if I see the status of this, so it doesn't show that service is running right now. Uh, service is stopped right now. So let me start this service now. sudo system CTL start NA10. And now we will see the status. You can see here service is active and running. And now if I open this, it should work now. And we will validate the version of NA10. You can see here. Test the power of AI in NA20 with this ready to go agent workflow. I will see that also, but let me see about. You will see here 1.81.4. This is the latest version which is available. In addition to various new options which are available in NA10, you can see here the power of AI agent workflow. So I will try it now. You will see here it will automatically create an AI agent workflow which is connected to the OpenAI model which is connected to memory, which has the uh, Google Calendar. And the agent is also defined here. What is the job of that agent? You can see you are a helpful assistant that helps the users to answer the questions about their calendar. So you can see here that one of the calendar agent is automatically created. And these are the details, how you have to start it. You have to connect with, with your uh, OpenAI model. You have to connect with your Google Calendar and so on. So you can get started from here also if you have not yet created any workflow you can start with the template and how to set up the template you can just set up the template by connecting to the ai model and you can connect with the google calendar and if i show you here the new ai models which are there for example uh, deep seek is there now you can see deep seek chat model is also added here so there's a lot which has been added every update has something new to explore this was about updating NA10 when you install NA10 using NPM. I like the NPM version. The reason is because I get that flexibility of updating it 
flexibility of controlling it and so on. But if you want to go really easy, I will recommend you to go with Docker in case you want to have self-hosted. But if you really do not want to have any headache, you want to, to only focus on the automation, then you go with N810 Cloud. You can just browse n810.syncbricks.com. So you will be landing to the cloud version of N810 and then you can get started without any issues. This was about updating N810. Let us continue to next video and we will start exploring N810.